Okay, guys, we just want to do a little product information on uh, our <clears throat> J-Max Leaf Diff Upgrade. So this particular differential, uh, we manufacture that in Australia specifically for the 70 series uh, Land Cruiser. Now, the issues we see with the 70 series Land Cruiser is uh, on, the, on the new V8 models, say from 2007 onwards, the rear diff is 100 mil roughly narrower in the rear than the front. So by widening the rear differential to match the front track, the, we do a couple of things. One of them is we increase stability of the car. Now, just widening the track on the rear does help the stability of these cars in testing. The other one is um, matching the wheel track when you're off-road or you're in sand or wheel ruts or whatever, obviously having matching wheel tracks, just as you would with a, a trail, an off-road trailer, et cetera, obviously has a huge benefit. The other thing that we see is 79 series Land Cruisers in that space, we're getting heavier and heavier. So, you know, the, the factory rear housing is rated at 2,300 kilos by Toyota. Now, we're seeing on 3.9 and 4.2 ton GVMs that you can't physically load that car, especially on a dual cab, for example, and a lot of single cabs are no different. You can't load that vehicle practically by putting gear in the back or towing and maintain the tow or maintain the axle load capacity of that factory housing. So where, you know, when we start loading the back of the car, it takes weight from the front, transfers it to the back. So when we see GVMs where they've taken Toyota's factory axle load rating and we've gone, we're just gonna go to the maximum of the front axle load and we're gonna raise it by 10%. We'll go to the maximum at the rear and we'll raise it and give you, pull the two numbers together and go, surprise, I've got a GVM of 3780, 3900, 4200 by fudging axle figures. The reality of it is, is the GVM is not usable because before you even get to your GVM, you're so far over your rear axle load that you've got a problem. The other problem is, is obviously rated wheels and tires as well, because you, as you increase that load rating on the back, you've got to upgrade those parts to meet that load rating. So the housing that we manufacture is a 350 grade, six mil drawn over mandrel tube with bracing. Now, we've seen people say, we use nine mil and no bracing, and this is stronger and that's stronger. The reality of it is through testing that even this particular unit, which we do for armored companies, that even with a nine mil tube and the bracing, it is actually no stronger in reality than the six mil with bracing. Now, if you were to test this differential and put your load here and here, these things will push through the roof and their, their, their rating is through the roof. The reality of it is, is that's not real world. The real world is you must test that, that, that product in the manner that it's used. So wheel bearings become the next fail. So you can make this thing as strong and as rigid as you like. The reality of it is the weak point becomes the spindle. Now, with the J-Max one, we do uh, chrome, spin, uh, chrome molly spindles. So we upgrade the spindle material. We also run the spindle right down inside the axle tube and it's plug welded as well as um, TIG welded into position. So it's as strong as you can physically get it. Now there's no way to make that spindle stronger without actually turning around and saying, well, hey, let's revise, let's put bigger bearings and oh, now we've got to change the hub. So we'll manufacture a new hub, making all of a sudden you've got this thing that's no longer a Land Cruiser part. So what we've done is we've taken this to um, 2,700 and 3,000 kilos. So it, it exceeds just about every other GVM on the market. So it will, it will be compatible with all of the GVMs that you see, but we've upgraded all of these components while still maintaining factory bearings, factory brakes, and factory components, factory center, factory locker, if you've got one or no locker, if you've got an ARB or an e-locker or whatever, they will all go into the housing. If it's a DPF or a non-DPF model, it will still integrate. So it fits into all your combinations of 70 series Land Cruiser. The reality of it is um, the weak part becomes your factory bearing area. Now, the reason why we don't go start changing all those things is because you drive, you're out in the middle of nowhere, you drive into 
a regional town, you need a bearing or something, you need to be able to have access to parts. So the reason the Toyota Land Cruiser is such a good base model vehicle anywhere in the world is because of its support and parts, um, the capability of being anywhere and being able to source parts. So that's where we really want to stand out from the crowd. So uh, this here is Aussie made. Now we also do the chrome molly axle. So again, chrome molly axles, they're a full float with the drive flanges. Again, these units are so strong that you generally, if you break an axle, you will destroy your diff center. So, you know, you can option these up to 300 M's for a couple of hundred bucks if you wish. The reality of it is you don't need it. I would rather break an axle than blow my center to, up to pieces. You know, it's, if you're out in the middle of nowhere to break an axle, you can remove an axle, you can keep driving. If you blow your center to pieces, then you've got more bigger issues than that. So that's the basis of our, of our leaf diff upgrade. So DPF, non-DPF, ABS, non-ABS, factory bearings, factory brakes, um, 3,000 kilo axle load capacity, um, most of ours run at 2700 because that's more than enough for 39, 42. Track correction, um, whether you've got electric locker or standard diff center, all fits. The other option you can do with this particular differential is you can upgrade this and run our high clearance plates. So um, that's another option. So we can integrate high clearance plates, give you another inch and a half of clearance. So the other one is it's sway bar compatible. So a lot of the options that we're seeing on the market when it comes to leaf diff and track correction is they're not sway bar compatible. They have no engineering or uh, any documentation. So everything you buy from JMAX will have engineering documentation. We can send this anywhere in Australia. The paperwork goes with the differential. It can be signed off in any state by any engineer. All of our documentation is there. When you buy a JMAX product, documentation and engineering is key because it becomes a tick and flick when it gets to the other end. So, okay, uh, load rating. GVMs, GCMs, no issues. We see some options go, you can do a 3780, but no GCM increase. Um, you can, um, you know, so this here meets or exceeds any GVM requirement. And, and the other big thing for all of our gear is everything is Aussie made. So we, 90% of our material, 99% is Aussie made. So we try and keep manufacture here in Australia. Our quality is massively high. All of our axles made here in Australia. Um, so, you know, that to me is a key component for anything that we do. So um, that's just a bit of information on our leaf diff. Um, so if you want any more information, go to uh, our website at uh, jmax.com.au or give us a call.